Hi everyone, I was really excited to get this bag in the mail. This is from my mom. If you are not a fan of Jujube, you should be. This is one of their new limited edition affordable bags. It is still the same fabric. It is still machine washable. It is still water resistant and spill proof, but it's just made a little bit smarter for mamas who can't quite put all of the money into the more pricier bags. Now this is the Ballad Backpack in the print Midnight Posy. And when I saw this print online, I didn't think that I was really into the whole floral design, but seeing it in person, it's really a gorgeous print. It's got this navy blue background and it has these white and maroon or pink flowers with this beautiful olive green leaf kind of tone. I have this print in a couple of other different GGB items as well. And I can say that this pretty much matches with everything. I have a phone case. It matches the maroon red of the flowers and I absolutely love it. I'm really excited to show you how I packed this up. This is a diaper bag, but I don't currently have this packed up as a diaper bag. This is more just a daily bag or work bag. So if you want me to pack this up as a diaper bag, please let me know. On the outside, the first thing that we have is this nice zip pocket here. This is a pretty deep zip pocket and you can fit quite a few things. This is also considered your tech pocket because it is felt lined. So if you wanted to put your phone or anything in here that won't scratch out, this is the perfect pocket for that. Now in here, all I have is my Kipling Marguerite in the brick red. This is my coin purse. I do keep my coins separately because I don't like keeping my or making my wallet too heavy and clinging. I also have two pens. This pouch does not have a D-ring on the outside, so I've attached my Kipling mini art case with my rubber bands, chapstick, and other daily essentials onto the front zipper here. This is the only zipper that is metal. All of the other ones are felt, which I think that it still works perfectly. I think they did that just to make the bag a little bit more affordable, so it's not your typical GGB custom zippers. On the side of this pocket, you have a nice little hidden pocket here. And I kind of just packed my deodorant and other things just because it's a quick grab. I have my deodorant, my body spray, and a pack of tissues. You can definitely fit a lot more in this pocket, but I don't want to overstuff it, especially because I feel like it'll interfere with the inside of the bag. On the outside, we also do have an insulated bottle pocket. I don't keep anything in here just because it will push into the inside of the bag, and I have this packed kind of full, not 100% full, but I like to have as much real estate space as I possibly can. This bag also features a grab handle at the top, two cushion backpack straps, and a cushion backing. Now, the design of the Ballad backpack is very different than some of the other GGB backpacks or other backpacks in general. The reason why, if you look to the side, you can see that the zipper angles off. It's got a really wide bottom, which makes it very nice for you to fit a whole bunch of pouches in the bottom. And if you do overstuff this bag, like I do tend to overstuff my backpacks, it makes it a lot nicer so that you can pull the zippers over very smoothly without having to worry about the tearing. Now the zippers go down most of the bag, and as you can see, this compartment is gusseted, so you don't have to worry about it flapping all the way forward. On the inside, I consider this a tech sleeve, but this is more of a pocket for your diaper changing pad. I just have my 13 inch MacBook, which I got a whole bunch of GGB stickers that I collected and I added, so if you watch some of my other videos, you will know that I do have a couple more and I just love collecting stickers. But that slides really nicely into that back pocket. And then we've also got a mesh pocket back here, two mesh pockets, as well as two mesh pockets on the front of the bag. Now I don't have anything on these mesh pockets back here. That's just because I don't need to put anything there and it would also take up a little bit more compartment space. So I'm not really into packing that. The first thing that I wanted to pull out is my Vera Bradley double-sided makeup case. This is really cool. My mom sent this to me and it was on sale for Black Friday, but here is a zipper on this side and if you flip it over, the zipper is actually on the bottom. So it means that you can fit twice as much stuff. I also have my Kipling Lex technology case. This is in the print Monkey Novelty and this can fit a mini iPad 
but I have all of my tech essentials here. If you have seen a couple of my other videos, I usually have my tech sleeve with all of my cords, electronic essentials, as well as my laptop, but instead I decided to pack them up in here so that I can fit my laptop in this back sleeve because my tech sleeve will not fit comfortably in this ballad backpack. And I have quite a bit of things in here. I've actually added some things from my last video, so I'm not going to be going through this in its entirety, but I will show you that this is pretty stuffed, but this nice buttery smooth zipper allows for me to close it up without having to worry about it busting. Next, I just have some Tylenol and Tums, and I also have my Kipling Musaria wallet. I believe this is in the color Dusty Gray, but it's a really beautiful double compartmented wallet. Now in the front two mesh pockets, I have my sunglasses, as well as my Kipling Viv pencil case. This pencil case is very similar to my Sport Sack flat cosmetic pouch, except that the zipper is at the top instead of in the front. I really like how this has a monkey on the side, as well as a D-ring, and I really like this cool kind of multicolored zipper thing going on. All that I have in here is just my pens, pencils, scissors, and any post office essentials that I think that I'll need. I do carry a lot of pens with me and that's just because these are colorful. That's everything that I have packed up in my GGB Ballad backpack. There is enough space in here for me to put my Nintendo Switch. I don't currently have it in here because I was playing with it earlier, so it's outside on my coffee table. Everything that I have packed up in this backpack is basically what I had packed up in my GGB BRB, which is a bigger bag and it does have a lot more pockets on the outside. It also has just a lot more space in general, but I do have to say that for an affordable diaper bag or an affordable backpack that this jujube bag really does knock it out of the park. So if you have been eyeing one of these bags for a while, they do come in three colors, I suggest that you go for it. You're really not into dropping 200 or more dollars on a diaper bag. I don't blame you. I actually got mine as gifts. This is the diaper bag for you. Leave this video a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, and if there's anything that you want me to review, please leave a comment down in the comment section and I will get back to you. Again, thanks for watching.